the Doom series. A game I've been playing since I was a wee kid and probably shouldn't have been playing, but screw it, I'm a rebel. I was smuggling him rated games in middle school against my mom's will, so I might as well be. Anyway, Doom, specifically Doom Eternal. How is it? Well, very good. I really enjoyed Doom 2016 and I'm glad to see them making more of the same. As per my usual reviews, I'm going to comment on graphics, sound, gameplay, and replayability. So we'll start off with graphics. I'll just say this game is gorgeous. Or should I say GORGEOUS? I really enjoy not only the literal gore and visual effects of you slowly chipping away at an enemy's health, but also the environments really leave something unique behind. Of course, there's your typical hellscapes and ruined earth, but they really went out to give you different places to go, like UAC facilities, ancient Praetor runes, and places I could only call a techno-demon citadel. That, plus the animations for all the demons are really fluid, from the shambling of zombies to the fast-moving snake demons. And you get a close-up of all that when it's time for an execution. All this is complemented by the game's sound design and great score as well. The weapons all sound like they have been given a good amount of oomph needed for the damage you'll be inflicting. And all the demons have their own special groans and moans as you relentlessly murder them. That, plus I think I've found my new favorite sound in all of video gaming. This puts that lightsaber's wimpy turning on sound to shame. This sound sounds like it could murder me alone. All of this tied with the game's soundtrack makes an amazingly good time. Of course, they have the more heavier intensity soundtracks, but they've also focused on the ambient music as well. I really enjoyed the demon worship chants, like in this level for example. while exploring for secrets, which I'll go into detail later. And I should probably start talking about the actual gameplay. As you could expect, it's more of Doom 2016's gameplay, with you jumping around, shooting, blowing stuff up, with the occasional execution in between. The game makes you feel like a badass, which is something its software nails time and time again. They've even added a bigger focus onto exploration this time, adding a ton of collectibles for you to gather. They have figurines, cheat codes, albums, and even batteries which you use to unlock stuff in this interim slash base level they called the Fortress of Doom. And honestly, it's kind of nice having a base to see all your collectibles at. It gives visual representation to all the stuff you got, and a nice place to know, oh hey, now's a good time to take a break for the day, because it's a nice place to break in between missions. All that said though, I still have some flaws with the game. I feel ammo capacity is low, making you swap weapons a lot in combat. I've even run out of ammo multiple times making you have to play this game called Find the Pinata Zombie. They give you a single charge of recharging chainsaw ammo, but it's not enough to chainsaw the majority of enemies in game. So you have to go looking for the one fodder enemy to chainsaw. I noticed they spawn zombies to accompany some of the bigger boss monsters, but they're small, slow, and shambling around towards you slowly. So it can be a bit of a challenge to find them when you're sprinting around in a combat situation, trying to avoid a bigger demon trying to kill you as you look for them. 
I've noticed that three ammo pools are shared between weapons as well. So when you run out of ammo, your options are quickly limited. Oops, I ran out of shotgun ammo. I can't use the super shotgun. Oops, I ran out of plasma gun ammo. I can't use the ballista. Oops, I ran out of machine gun ammo. I can't use the chain gun. I think the fact that they tied in shared ammo pools disappointed me a lot in combat. Tie in this with low ammo capacity and you got a bit of a problem. Suffice to say, they gave you ammo storage upgrades, but that was still not enough to mitigate the problem. By the time I maxed out the ammo capacities in the game, it felt like this is what it should have been from the start. And with some of the chunkier enemies, it was still a difficult thing to work through. Yes, enemies have weak points, but they are not guaranteed to always kill them. Also, the punch system in the game is a bit of a problem. They've replaced your punching ability with the blood punch. It's a very powerful ability when it's charged. However, if it's not, you can't even beat a regular zombie down with normal punches anymore. To charge it, you have to pull off two executions. There are ways to recharge it better later in the game, but unfortunately by the time I started unlocking those abilities, it felt like it was too late for me. They also give you upgrades to it as you progress in the story. But frankly, I would like the ability to have a normal punch again that could actually maybe obliterate a zombie. The ability is nice and welcome, especially as a powerful get the F off me when you're literally cornered by demons. But the fact that you now lack a basic punch to beat small enemies off with is a bit of an oversight in the game. One final flaw I have is that the Marauder is a major annoyance in the game. I feel I have to clear out the whole arena just to focus fighting this guy. He's got not only a shield that deflects everything you throw at him, but he also sicks a fire dog to annoy you. The fire dog gives you this annoying bite on screen which obscures your vision, redirecting you to focus on it. The Marauder also has a very tiny opening when his eyes flash. And there's too many requirements for him to trigger it. You have to be at, and I quote, MEDIUM RANGE! If you're too far away, he throws a projectile at you. If you're too close, he punts you away. It also takes a lot of shots to put him down too. Tie this in with him dashing around you really quick, and you've got yourself a terrible enemy. Seriously, it's not fun f to fight these guys. They're also immune to the BFG, which is a gaming sin in my opinion. They completely destroy pacing when they begin to appear. It doesn't feel like a boss battle or anything epic. It just feels like you're fighting a very annoying enemy. Look at how long it takes for me to kill one, even during a cheats run. I guess with this level of annoyance, there's some catharsis when you finally get to execute the mf -er, but I digress. Overall, Doom Eternal is a good game, but I still feel the replayability suffers a bit. I did my normal run, I did my cheat code run, I got a bunch of collectibles. After a week of playing it on and off, I feel kinda tapped out. It has multiplayer, but honestly I'm not gonna touch that with a 10-foot pole. Multiplayer competitive is not why I play Doom. That's why Quake exists. So how's that going, Bethesda? But Doom Eternal, it's a good game, albeit a bit short-lived. It's like a really good meal, but the kind you still feel hungry after an hour after eating. But I can still recommend it if you enjoy the 2016 reboot of Doom, as it really refines that experience. There's still some flaws that I hope will be fleshed out in later installments, but I think that'll do it for this review. Thank you all for watching, and thank you for helping me hit 100 subs. It truly means a lot to me that you enjoy my content, and I hope to keep on making more for you. As usual, if you like this video, feel free to give me a like and tell me what you liked in the comment below. I'll see you in the next video, until then, this is Mr. Bubble signing off. Bye bye